What of Essex? We received a summons from the Elderman and his Lady of Colchester, requesting you... Foreboding. According to my scouts, he... I will leave at once. An alliance in Essex would be invaluable, but go with caution. Message has come. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Seems Elderman Beerstan has made this ruin his longhouse. Why is my cup empty? Perhaps because you have drunk the barrel dry? Damn Beerstan. His household is as poorly run as his land. Estrid is a good wife. Far better than he deserves. You would say that, Adric. Lord. Ah, a heroic looking Dane in our midst. I'm looking for Beerstan. The elderman of the Shire. Our lord is not at home, but his wife is receiving visitors upstairs, in her usual fashion. If you speak with her, pass on that we've run out of ale. You would say that, Adrian. Your wife acts like a sow in a skirt. My sweater is a worthy woman, you coxcomb. But she's an excellent cook. With a fine nose for truffles. If Biston does not return soon, wine will not be the only thing spilled upon his floor. Now, gentlemen, everyone is fractious with we the... We should be rusty! At least. From me. Sheathe your blade, lady. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan, here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. I'm wary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, 
I'll remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck, he hasn't been eaten, but I'll return either way. Even the saints would tire of waiting for Beerstan to hang up his bow. Dear Estrid, we must discuss the affairs of this land, with or without him. Help! Mid golden weather, a mortal whip puts it on wool and to work in it. Why a quamer is done on dim and throws me on celestial. Just about this lad, my friend. Hunting is a fine sport, but I hope the Elderman has not become the prey. No good comes from a camp this bloody. They were caught off guard as they supped. The remains of the hunting party. This one was savaged by a large animal. They were attacked by a beast. Something strong enough to kill the horse. Some large prey left these tracks in the grass. The hunters were prey to a large beast or two. 
I can only hope that Biestel still lives. Zunin, guide me. Biestel, ready your weapon! Or accept your fate as a feast for bears. Your weapon strikes true. This is one Saxon you won't kill today. friend. I would not have survived this ambush without you. You have my gratitude to stumble upon me in my moment of greatest peril. Perhaps you were God sent. I'm Estrid sent. Your wife and the Thanes of Essex both want your balls on a blacksmith's anvil. When do they not? And make the beast. No doubt my Estrid would prefer... I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once, and we'll speak more of the delicate map. I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. You lost many men on this hunt. Good men, all. They will have the proper rights, and their families will be cared for. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet lingering pain, paralyzing you with its sting? There's pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water. Cold and dead. She showed great passion when I met her, keeping her thanes in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. I have always been a plucked goose in matters of love, and a piss-poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Piston. My hand would rather tug the cat gut of a well-crafted bow, my eyes narrowing at the sight of prey. Aye, the crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about you, Biston. Do not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. You mismark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hobbles of Wattle and Daub, I have ambition to build a great palace myself, with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people? Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really pondered. I suppose they are. I hope they are. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and squawking over nothing but the farmer's dinner. He interferes. No, he disapproves. Is that not infinitely worse? But look, we are nearing my hall. I must face the wolves at my door before we discuss your favor to Essex, Abel. It may be I can speed your business along. We are as Edison, and not from. Yes, Ready to help me fend off the spears of their displeasure? Let them speak their woes. I'll advise you if I can. Who is this owl, Beeston, that twitters in your ear? An advisor, nothing more. 
here to help Essex navigate her brewing storms. Now, my dear brethren, Adrid, perhaps you will start us off. What troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beerstan. Couldn't get a sow pissed in an alehouse. Alfred's men are crawling all over Essex. King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right, the constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. Are they men or babes? If Alfred meddles in the affairs of Essex, send his... Ah, we should challenge his right to rule. Was not Essex... Wa and you, Wyatt, what do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. Drink, be merry, eat your fill. Do we not deserve such mirth? A great feast? And Aldrich? Do you yap like a she-hound as Adrid does? You know my thoughts, Beerston. The Refuse to send your- Then we- Refuse our king! Has madness taken your wits, Beerst? There! Have I not answered? You are a stain on this shire, Beerstan. Useless. Useless. That's right. Yet still you haunt my hall. Be gone. I haven't time for your squabbling. That ceased their prattling. A fine outcome, Abel. The very soul of balance. A firm hand is all you need, Beerstan. Whether on your hunting bow or on your helm. All this talk of hunting makes me long for the woods. Your wife awaits, Beerstan. Aren't you worried some other man will drench your sheets with his sweat? Ha! <laughs> she does as she must. As do I. But you will discover this soon enough. You have done the impossible, Dane. Returned my errant gander to his coop. My pettish love. Such a stormy countenance clouds the sun of my return. Your thanes drank the ale the abbot gifted us. All of it. Now that is a tragedy my heart will not easily... If he looked at me with the same affection he shows for hunting deer, our marriage might have survived. Essex seems at odds with... No, no, I would not inflict... And overmore... So, what do... Our affairs are more of her... We would have our freedom, Eivor. I, from my wife, and my... I'm too sharp a weapon... Oh, where are you? Explain your... We had a plan... Some time ago, we paid a Dane to kidnap me and ferry me safely to Francia. As you can see, he did not deliver. He was certainly thorough in other regards. Some Norse can be quick to take coin and slow to earn it. Could we try the kidnap again? Much of the planning is done. It would only take a more trustworthy overseer. It should be a bold venture if... During our Lamas... Your return to Francia would need a swift ship, with a captain ready to leave England. We could ask him. I would have thought his steed and... Come find me in the market, Eivor. Our unwelcome guests require food and ale to soften their... My wife is a gracious and attentive host, Eivor. And the woman found? A darling mate. Twenty years. We can hope. You... I believe she lived in a... I will do as you both ask, and ask Freya for success in this love game. Good luck in your endeavors, Eivor. I pray you find my Alvida with a fair face and a yearning heart. Now, should I look for Alvida first? I'll meet with Estrid at the marketplace.